probably continue to boil still, but not a roaring boil. Whoops. Hello. Me and Penelope, my little granddaughter, we're going to make some get up. And we're going to show you how it's done. Well, Why did you choose that beef? Well, because you want to have the fat on it. You want to have about a third fat. That'll give it the flavor and the moisture that it needs when you cook it. I chose beef western ribs. And essentially all this is is chuck roast cut into strips. Pork country ribs. And I, I picked those because of the fat content. Um, and you've got some decent meat on there, but you still want this fat that's in there. So you want to have some fat or else it'll be too dry. And there is some bone in there, but we'll, we'll get that out of there once, once we cook it. You want to cook it with the bone on there. The first step is we have to cook the meat. So we're going to, we're, we're going to boil the meat in this water. Now this is eight cups of water. Uh, three teaspoons of salt. Now that's the taste, so I like it just a little bit more, so I'm going to put in four. We want to get that dissolved in there. Okay, that's pretty dissolved. Okay, we're going to put the meat in there. Now we need to slice up an onion. And this should take about an hour, a little bit less, we'll let you know. A fun way to eat the goldfish, watch. Let's do this. Turn that down to about two thirds. And it'll, it'll probably continue to boil still, but not a roaring boil. Okay, it's smelling pretty good. Okay, the next step is we're going to take the meat out of the, and, and make sure it's cooked, and then we're going to let that cool off, and then we're going to add the beef bouillon to the water. And then we're gonna cook and then we're gonna cook the pinhead oatmeal in that water. When we're done cooking the oatmeal in there we have to make sure we get four bay leaves out of there you don't want to leave them in there because they have a spine in there and sometimes if you eat that spine you could damage your intestines okay and that should take about two hours two and a half hours to cook cook it probably as uh, 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 close to boiling as possible Stir that periodically so it doesn't stick to the bottom of the pan. We don't have to worry about the beef because the beef was boneless. So we'll just cut it into manageable sized pieces. Now it's not really quite done 
but that, that doesn't matter. It'll finish cooking when we put it in the oatmeal. And get that bone out of there. And if you want to be a little bit meticulous, you can cut more off of there, but make sure there's no bone in there. That's really kind of the consistency you want, just like that. Okay. Now all we have to do is stir the meat in. Okay, now we're gonna put it in the pan here so we can so it'll cool off. And then it's ready to store for further use. The unveiling of the ghetto. Okay, now we're going to put some bacon grease in the skillet and it will um, make it a little crisper around the edges is what makes it taste better. That's good. <laughs> and what does the assistant chef think? <laughs> All right. It's a hit. <laughs> <laughs>